Sheeksters. Hi YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about this face. I'm going to be showing you guys how I take this face from day to night. So I'm going to take you guys along with me during my day. I'm going to show you my outfit for day. I'm going to show you how to transition this look and my outfit for night. And today's video is kindly sponsored by Wet n Wild. The lipstick, the eyes, all of this, the foundation. Um, I was pleasantly surprised because I did not know the range, okay, that Wet n Wild carried in foundation. So I'm actually loving this color on my face and I'm gonna give you guys all of the details. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, let's prep this face. I'm prepping this face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 primer water. Up next, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in Walnut. At first glance, it may look like this foundation is actually too dark for me, but actually it's the perfect color for my face because I tend to be lighter in the center and darker around the perimeter. I went back in and highlighted those high points of my face again with concealer. And at this point, after blending, I fell in love. If you are looking for a drugstore foundation, please check this foundation out. I just loved the finish. It felt like skin, it looked like skin, and I could have stopped here, honestly. Up next, I wanted to add some color, so I went in with the Blazing Berry Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. The name for this blush is perfect. It's a deep berry color, but it has some sheen, so you could honestly skip the highlight if you'd like. Of course, we can't forget about the brows. I went in with the Color Icon Coal Pencil in like a dark espresso color. This is actually something I own. I love the Wet n Wild pencils, um, brow products, and their pencils because they're just so easy to apply. They're not super dry. They're kind of buttery, very soft. Because this was a day look, I wanted to go with just simple neutral colors on the eyes. I warmed up my transition and I also went in with a lighter brown sort of like caramelly color for the main portion of my lid. Of course, I had to highlight those tear ducts to brighten the center of my face. Now that the face is complete, I went back in with the Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. And since I was going super neutral and simple for the day look, I wanted to add a little bit of drama. I went in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the color Wine Is. My favorite part about this gloss is that it's actually thick and opaque enough.
this little one well not so little big little one now say hi hello Alright, so after several hours of wear, I wanted to show you guys what this foundation would look like on oily to combination skin. To refresh the foundation, I went back in with the primer water. I wanted to note that even after several hours of living, eating, talking, the huge, my lips still felt really hydrated. Make sure to check the description box down below for a link to all the Wet n Wild beauty featured in this video. I decided on a teal smoky eye. What I love about the Cosmic Collision Palette is that it has so many options. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it had this teal color, it also had some purples in there, it had all of the neutrals, so everything you need to create the perfect day and night look. And since I was going smoky on the eyes, I decided that I wanted to go neutral on the lips and I went in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the color Cedar Later. I love this caramelly color. And of course, to bring color back into my cheeks, I went back to the Color Icon blush in the color Blazing Berry. So let me know guys, what do you think about this look? Would you wear this on date night? All right, now it's time to take this outfit from day to night. I swapped my mules for some pumps to add a little bit of pizzazz for date night. threw on a biker jacket or a moto jacket because in my mind, a smoky eye and a moto jacket are match made in heaven. You didn't see this, but I added on a statement ring and then I finished things off with a clutch. Let me know, do you use Wet n Wild products and what is your favorite product? Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,